Hello everyone, I am Derby, also known as Scott Chusabi. I am a certified aromatherapist here in the Philippines. And for today, after a long, long, long time, <laughs> we will be having our EO Spotlight. So for this video, we will be talking about Plant Therapies Ish Pingo. So if this is something that you would like to get to know more about, then please keep on watching. So it's been a while since I've had any essential oil videos. I would like to thank you guys for hanging out and staying here on this channel <laughs> despite my MIA status. I really appreciate my new subscribers. Hello if you're new here. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to take your time and click the subscribe button so that you will be updated every time I upload a new video. Okay. So Ish Pingo, this got my attention very recently because in one of the aromatherapy groups that I'm on, a student asked about Osotea. And I think she was asking um, what kind of oils are Osotea? And Osotea is an oil that's very not talked about, very little known oil. And basically, I got this um, oil from plant therapy it's actually part of their um, bargain bin so if you want to try this now it's the time it's only ten dollars for five ml and they recently had a promo but I, I think this video came a little too late but Ishpingo is Osotea Quijos Q-U-I-X-O-S it's from Ecuador Colombia and this is steam distilled from the leaves, stems, and flowers. It smells amazingly. It's medium strong aroma and it imparts a warm spicy complexity similar to cinnamon. That's very true. This blends well with amaris, cardamom, cedarwood, clovebud, copaiba, ginger root, myrrh, nutmeg, orange, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's not kid safe. It's not safe for pregnant women, nursing women, nor safe for pets. It's not safe for pets. It has a shelf life of two to three years. So let us take a whiff before we talk more about this, okay? The first time I ever took a whiff of this oil, I instantly fell in love. It reminded me of root beer float for some reason. And now that I read through the literature and it says that, you know, it's a close kin to cinnamon I can now um, relate it or put it beside cinnamon but when I first took a whiff of this oil it took me back to childhood it instantly made me remember about root beer I'm not so sure if you've ever tried this but if you do please let me know what you think through the comments below um, it says that it's likened to cinnamon because it has that vibrant festive autumnal smell of cinnamon but it's a lot milder it has a lot of that sweeter milder smell than the assaulting <laughs> smell of cinnamon um, ishpingo essential oil comes from osotea quijos an evergreen wild harvested plant from ecuador and colombia the tree is known in Quechua languages as Ispinku and more recently as Flor de Canela or cinnamon flower. While the bark is used to produce Ecuadorian or American cinnamon, which is similar to common cinnamon, the flowers and leaves are used to create Ispingo essential oil, similar to cinnamon bark. But because it has a very low percentage of cinnamaldehyde, it's a much safer option for topical use than your regular cinnamon. With a warm, spicy fragrance, its stimulating properties may be helpful during times of fatigue and worry. You can also use Ishpingo to help keep your house clean during times of seasonal threats, just like now. Plus, it is a perfect addition to bring warm, spicy note into your seasonal blend. So I agree, if you're someone who loves cinnamon, I know some people who love cinnamon. So you can use this as a milder option. And especially if you like incorporating cinnamon on your topical um, blend. I don't. I typically don't. Um, especially with thieves i i make sure to be mindful of using that because thieves can be quite strong so if you are someone who loves thieves i guess you should explore ishpingo i'm sure you will love it it has that milder sweeter like a baby cinnamon because it doesn't have that assaulting strong cinnamon smell and it says here it has lower 
values of cinnamaldehyde. So it's a lot safer for your skin. Diffusing this, I would see that it's very, very appropriate when you put in oranges, um, nutmeg. Perhaps you can put in a little ilang ilang. That would be amazing. Like my ilang ilang pin here. So put in a little ilang ilang for that sweetness. Add in a little vanilla. That would be amazing. Um, add in a little bit of sandalwood or cedarwood or maybe amaris or maybe even frankincense. That would be okay. All right, so if you have tried this pingo, don't forget to let me know how much you like or dislike it. What are your thoughts about it? If you haven't, go check it out. It's part of Plant Therapy's Bargain Bin. It's only $10 for this bottle. And if you have any other essential oil requests that you would like me to talk about or put here on my channel, don't forget to leave me down a comment or slide me a DM. I'd love to hear what you think and I look forward to see more of you soon. Bye!